All right, welcome into the show, Creative Crypto here. And in this episode, I'm going to give you guys an update on Pulse 3D. I've been having some really, really great brainstorming sessions with the team, and I want to share with you the vision and kind of the roadmap that this project is going to have. There are some big, big plans that are in place here. All the team is waiting for is the go ahead from the dev to make sure that he's able to build what the vision is for this. And once he gives the go ahead, then it's all systems go. And it's full steam ahead to accomplish our goals here with Pulse 3D. Now, if you guys aren't aware, I said this from the beginning that the developer behind this dApp is very patient and is very community driven. He's bootstrapped this entire project with his own funding, has not raised any money, hasn't asked for any payment, and is just continuing to constantly build and innovate in this Pulse Chain ecosystem. Those are the type of people I want to get behind and I want to help work for. Because if you think back to how crypto was invented, it didn't start from an IPO. It didn't start from an ICO. There wasn't fundraising for Bitcoin. Somebody wanted to make something very cool and original, and they decided to make Bitcoin and the blockchain, not knowing if it was going to be any monetary value attached to it. They just liked building cool stuff. That's what blockchain is about, is about doing the work, putting in the work, and eventually the profits and the rewards will come but that can't be your main focus and main drive to succeed it's just how much money can i make it's i want to make something cool and innovative and something original and that's what the dev behind this platform does he hasn't taken any profit and continues to just build for the community like for example adding in all these different languages this took a long time and it's very big for what we are going to do here in the future with Pulse 3D and there's some big stuff coming guys and let me just kind of map it out for you and show you kind of what's going to be happening here with Pulse 3D. All right guys I'm going to illustrate this try to follow along I'll make it as simple as possible all right so here is Pulse 3D all right the P3D token all right this is what you're going to hold to own a piece of this entire ecosystem that's going to be built on Pulse Chain all right so the first thing that's coming up is utility number one okay so we'll call this u1 okay utility one now utility number one is going to be operating on its own but it's going to feed a percentage of the pulse that it brings in okay it's going to feed a percentage back into p3d okay and the way this works is pulse 3d is actually coded with what's called a divvies contract into the smart contract so if you want to feed pulse back into the p3d contract you can do that directly and it actually doesn't have to mint any extra tokens to do that it'll basically just inject pulse into the smart contract so therefore everybody just collects a lot more pulse for divs you will just see extra divs in your pulse section on your pulse 3d dap and why that's important is because you're basically increasing the pulse supply in the contract so there's more pulse in there but you're not having to mint more tokens and dilute the current supply you're just injecting pulse into the contract via dividends so all the current holders depending on how much tokens you have you're going to get the percentage of the pulse that's pumped in here okay that's huge because it's not just going to be a pump and dump it's going to actually be a feeding system to provide dividends on a constant basis other than just the buys and sells that come in normally from Pulse 3D. Okay, so you're gonna have that. Then you're gonna have utility number two. Okay, we'll call that U2. Now utility two is gonna be connected to utility one. You're gonna need utility one to get the most benefit from utility two. Now it's not necessary to have utility one for utility two. You can just use utility two on its own. Okay, and it's not even necessary to have P3D, but it benefits you to have all of it in the ecosystem okay can't get into much detail yet that'll be coming in future days when this is actually created okay but this is just the rough draft here all right so you have utility number two utility two is also going to be feeding a percentage of the pulse 
that is in Utility 2 into Pulse 3D, okay? It's gonna feed a percentage of Pulse. It's also gonna be able to have enough Pulse in it to operate on its own. So people might just find the project and just get in Utility number two, and they might not even know it's connected to these other utilities at first. They'll learn that eventually, but it's just a way to branch out as well and for people to find the project because some people might find utility number one and be like, oh, this is really cool. I like this. What does this do? Oh, I need this for this? Okay, that's pretty cool. And then wait a second. These two things actually benefit this thing here? Wow, that's really cool. All right, I like that. And they might get into all three, okay? Now, this is where it gets really, really cool. There's going to be a utility number three. Now, this utility number three is going to benefit utility number two. All right, it's going to cause FOMO in utility number two and cause that to be pumped. All right, and it's going to take a percentage from utility number three, and that's going to go directly to Pulse 3D. All right, so not only do you have one utility feeding Pulse into Pulse 3D, you're gonna have a second utility feeding Pulse into Pulse 3D. These two utilities benefit each other, and this third utility benefits utility number two, which therefore benefits utility number one automatically because these two will be connected. And in doing that, it benefits the main utility, Pulse 3D. All right, guys, do you see how huge this is going to be? This is why I'm so excited. This is why I'm working with the team here to help provide this vision for you guys so it can help you understand what this team is building. There's a lot of people in the Pulse Chain community that have no idea that this is coming. All right. The current people in Pulse 3D, they do know. That's why they're holding strong. That's why they're in this early. That's why they have a long term vision because of this guy. And this is just the first three utilities. After this, there could be more. Okay. This is just going to be the start. It's just going to be the start, okay? And the cool thing is about this and why the team is working very hard to plan this out correctly and make sure everything is corresponding correctly is because each one of these utilities has to be able to operate on its own as an own entity while also feeding a percentage of Pulse back into Pulse 3D. That's tricky to do. Now, I think we found a way to do it. I've been helping brainstorm with the team for ideas on how to do this. And I think we finally found the solution. All we're waiting for is the green light from the dev to get this thing started. And it really shouldn't take too much time to get utility one going because the way this is going to work is once utility one's been rolled out, okay, that's going to help with the building of utility two. Once utility two is out, that's going to help with the building of utility three. All right, and in doing all of this, it's going to help Pulse 3D and the P3D token holders. So very, very exciting stuff here, guys. This is the big plans behind Pulse 3D, and this is what's coming. So if you're in this project right now, you are in a great spot, and continue to hodl and dollar cost average into your position if you would like to, because once this goes live, okay, this current contract balance on Pulse 3D is going to explode. All right, just utility number one is probably going to double the contract. Once utility two goes live, that'll probably double it again. And utility three will probably double it for a third time. All right, so you're looking at just insane numbers here. All right, and the cool thing is you can benefit from all four of these things. All right, we only have one out right now, but when the other three come out, you can benefit from all three of these if you're a part of our community because we will be releasing these to our community members first and then we're going to push it out to the public so if you're in the community you will get first notification of these projects and that's why it's going to be truly truly important to be in the community and be ready to go because we will give some time there will be time for you guys to get in these things but definitely the community members will be notified first thing so guys pretty epic stuff there I hope you're able to follow along in that illustration and you can see why I'm so excited about this project and the long-term vision that this project has. It's got a really honest and hardworking dev that isn't just in this for the quick money. He's in this to build. He's in this to make cool stuff. 
he likes to work and make things that are cool on the blockchain. So those are the people we're working with guys to help this and just stay strong, stay loyal to this project because it will benefit you in the long run. So I'm going to make a quick reinvest here and I'm going to continue to just reinvest. That's what I've been doing, reinvesting, trying to pump more pulse into this with little projects, maybe that find on the side with the farming, like I showed you guys before. So continue to just add to my T3D tokens here because I know the long-term vision of this project and the future is very, very bright. So guys, that's really all I had for you in this video. Just wanted to share that vision that the team has been brainstorming. It's pretty much all systems go. Just waiting for a few things, a few thumbs ups and a few green lights. And we will be on our way here for amazing, amazing things for Pulse3D and the P3D token and the entire Pulse3D ecosystem that will be built. So guys, if you're excited to like me, hit the thumbs up, subscribe for more content here on the channel, leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this vision and the roadmap here for Pulse3D. Let me know your thoughts. I'll be interested to hear about it. You guys have a great day. Until the next time, we will talk again. Creative Crypto, out.